difference between an ODE, or ordinary differential equation, and a PDE, or partial differential equation, is that an ODE is a differential equation for a function of a single variable. So our unknown function u might be a function of, of t, or it might be a function of x, or something like that, for an ODE. For a PDE, our unknown function will be a function of maybe x and t, or maybe it'll be a function of whoops, x and y, or maybe it'll be a function of a whole bunch of variables. Uh, like maybe it's got a couple spatial variables, so a point in the plane, and then also a time coordinate if we're doing something like modeling a vibrating drum head or something like that. So um, some examples uh, of, of common PDEs, we have the, the wave equation. So the wave equation is um, the second time derivative of t being equal to or proportional to the second space derivative. So this is just in one spatial dimension. So something like a string, a wave traveling through a string. And here k is going to be some positive constant and it's related to the speed that the wave propagates. It's actually equal to the, uh, the square root of the wave speed. There's also the heat equation. And so the heat equation is when the first time derivative is proportional to the second space derivative. And so again, here, k is going to be some positive constant. It has a different name in this case. It's called diffusivity. And it's a function of the object's material that the heat is uh, propagating in. So um, it, it re relates to specific heat and conductivity and things like that that can be measured for, for a given material. Um, and then there's also uh, Laplace's equation. And Laplace's equation is that the sum of the second uh, x derivative and the second y derivative is equal to zero. So this is an equation with two spatial variables. And so each one of these equations that I've given you here is a, a second order equation. And so the order refers to, um, so the order um, is the largest number of derivatives on a, on a single term, u. And it turns out that most interesting physical PDE actually are second order. There's a couple third order here and there, maybe one or two fourth third, one or two fourth order, but um, above that, like fifth order, is basically unheard of. And there's a couple first order ones as well, but typically those tend to be less interesting. So we also have um, <clears throat> some terminology. So u, the unknown function, we call, often call this the state variable. So it's the thing that's dependent on, on the other variables. So the um, <clears throat> x, y, t, these ones would be the independent variables. Whoops, misspelled independent. Okay. And, and so the idea is that for something like, say, the uh, wave equation, uh, the state u, so u at x, t, this gives you the um, the height of a, of a string or surface, let's just say string, um, <clears throat> and at a particular time shot, or sorry, time um, snap, or moment in time. So this would give you the initial string shape. And similarly for, for um, so that gives us something like this. Let's bring this guy up here. Yeah. And then similarly for, for heat, in this case, 
uxt if we're in one spatial dimension again this would be um the uh, temperature so the temperature distribution and uh, so we might have something like like this guy I'm gonna make him a little bit bigger here something like this and so oops and I forgot to leave space for here we go so in this case u of x at time 0 would be the um, initial heat profile in the in the object. Suppose it's like a, a rod or something like that, something relatively one-dimensional. And and so in each of these pictures here, you can see they're they're like time snapshots. So oops. Ack. Come on, you rotten thing. Um, <clears throat> so if we just look at time zero, that's this initial curve, that's where the system begins, or the, the state that the system begins in. And then we have some, some other uh, uh, curves as, as time progresses. So maybe as time equals one would be this one right here, and then time equals two would be this one right here, and so on and so forth. And you can see the wave propagating as time passes. In the heat equation, we, we have something similar. So uh, the, the heat distribution begins to change and, and the, the heat kind of spreads out through the bar that we're looking at um, and, and the hot spot that we started with in the middle dissipates.